Hi everyone, hope you're having an incredible day so far. <clears throat> My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and Dean and I are so excited to be here this fabulous Tuesday morning. Actually, it's a cooler Tuesday morning, which we're all excited for. Um, but we're excited to be here today to create another fabulous Christmas design for you, which today we're going to do a Christmas teardrop because this is something that you can put on your door as a substitution for a traditional wreath if you want to change it up one year. And plus, there's multiple purposes that you can use this particular teardrop for, such as a centerpiece. You can use it as a door hanger. You could put it as an accent piece in your home. There's so many, a mailbox cover, a mailbox swag. So as you guys join us today, you'll leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from and any questions you have throughout today's video. Drop those down below as well. As you guys know, every week here at Ellis, they have an item of the week, and this week's item of the week is floral. So anything floral related that's Christmas is 25% off, so that's a great savings. It kind of, you know, discounts it a little bit, and it's a great time to stock up on that stuff because as you guys know, this year, everything is, everybody's experiencing shortages and stuff with COVID delays, and so, you know, I feel like when people get ready to start decorating for Christmas, it's going to be gone. So now is the time to shop. Everybody always asks my opinion on <clears throat> what you should do to prepare for the holidays and in this case in this crazy year you should definitely shop early so that way you have your stuff and you're ready to decorate and you're prepared but i hope you all had a great week so far um last week was a blur kind of it went by so fast i can't believe it's the middle of october uh, it's just insane to me but yesterday i took the day off and i got my last two trees done in my house remember i was going to do just one tree so it's turned into four but let me tell you how that's happened so i have a main 12 foot tree that's to a nine foot this year. So I did a nine foot tree in the living room. And then I have Josh's grandmother's tree, which I leave decorated. So I pulled it out of the closet. So that really doesn't count. So there's two trees. And then I had everything done except for my dining room. I wasn't going to put anything in there, but it just looks so naked. And I need something to anchor the centerpiece that I put in there. So I put two trees up yesterday, nine foot pencil trees in my dining room. They're all done. So my house is pretty much 98% complete. All I have left to do is put my stair garland on, which is already done. I don't have to do anything to it just other than hang it up. So I'm going to do that this afternoon, and then my house will be completely done. And I'm going to film my video for YouTube earlier this year, um, so that way you guys can see it early on. Because I've got another video I started last year that i got to finish this year, and it involves some clients. And I ran out of time last year to post it um, until it was after the season, and that's no fun. So I'm going to try and get that tackled and finish up this year, and then I'll have that to release to you guys too. But I'm excited to be here. I hope you guys are experiencing cooler weather where you are and uh, enjoying the Halloween season. Are you guys watch all the Halloween movies? The new Halloween, Halloween Kills, comes out on Friday the 15th, and uh, me and Dina can't freaking wait. It's going to be on Peacock, and it's going to be in theaters. I sound like I'm Barbara Walters, but anyway, it's going to be so fun, so make sure you watch it. <clears throat> Hi, Nina. How are you? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're doing a teardrop, honey. It's been a hot freaking minute. Let's get this done. This is the 32-inch PVC teardrop. It's on the website, ellisomangarden.com, along with this and so much more, so make sure you check it out. All Christmas floral is 25% off. That is the item of the week, okay? So let me get me a bow tie, honey. And looks like I'm prepared today. Look, Dean, I brought some more wire. Um, so we're good to go. Hey, Karen Bush. How are you, my friend? Okay. Let me get some wire. I'm going to use two ribbons, guys. I'm going to use a two and a half inch and a one and a half inch. And I'm going to use champagne and red. And <clears throat> just a little spoiler, that's the theme that I did in my house this year. You know, last year I had done it for a couple. <gasps> Kelly, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Didn't let me forget. Uh, made on Netflix. Okay, so last year I did my Christmas in my house, and it was like the second year was pretty similar. And you know me, I like to change things up. I get bored very easily. And I loved it so much. Hi, Kayla. Thank you. But I wanted to change a little bit. So I did red. I did velvet red, velvet emerald green, and champagne. Because I wanted a little bit of a, a factor to break up all that traditional colors. But I wanted, I have to have red and green. Because I was going to do blue, and I love it. But everything in my house has got red in it as far as the Christmas stuff. And I'd have to change everything, and nobody got time to break the bank. So, we went with a little bit of champagne. So, that's my color palette this year. I tried to carry it on throughout the house. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. Okay, Kelly. Yes, I have started watching Made on Netflix. Have you seen it, Dina? Okay, if you guys don't know what it's about, let's talk. First of all, we're going to tie three bows. A large bow, medium bow, small bow, okay? 14-inch loops, 10-inch loops, 7-inch loops, okay? As you go down, make sure you keep in mind that your teardrop is uh, a teardrop. So it's larger at the top, it tapers off at the bottom. So make sure that you make your bows and you put your florals in accordingly and you size and scale it down to the base that you're using, which in this case is the teardrop. Okay, let's get into it. So, Made on Netflix, this is a show that my friend Katie told me to watch, and it's about this girl who escapes domestic violence from her boyfriend. And it's not domestic violence like he beats you in the face. He 
is uh, a drunk and he's uh, verbally and emotionally and mentally abusive. And that to me is just as bad as getting beat up. So she has a three-year-old daughter. She has nothing. She leaves this man at the beginning. This is not a spoiler because it happens in the first five minutes. And it's just about her journey. So, you know, she has no job. So she goes through all the proper channels to find her some housing, to find her some a job. You know, and one of the jobs that she gets is a maid. And, you know, that's just a small part of the show. It's really about how crazy her life's been. She has nobody to turn to. Her family's crazy and her mom is whacked out. So, you know, it's basically just her. And she's got to do whatever she can to provide for this little girl. But at the same time, you know, she still loves the, the boyfriend. And he's just an alcoholic and he needs to get help. And so she's there and she's trying to help him. Um, what she can, but she can, you know she can't put her daughter back in that situation because what they always say is if he, he punches a wall in the in the wall beside your head, next time it will be your head. So you know, got to be careful. So it's really good, guys. I love it. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's called Made. There's a couple of people wanting to know if I can pull the camera down a little bit so they can see your hands. Oh, you can't see my hands. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, I'm gonna have Dina pull that camera down. I'll tell you when I can see it on here. Okay, yes, I saw somebody um, comment just now so they watched Midnight Mass. Kim, I think. Girl, I told you it was good. You watched it yet, Dana? Not yet. Oh, she's got to, y'all. It's so good. I'm still trying to get caught up on Monday and Tuesday shows. I know, y'all. Right now, there's so many shows on Monday and Tuesdays. The Voice is on. The Bachelor, Bachelorette's about to be on. Um, Dancing with the Stars is on. Did you watch the new CSI? Not yet. Oh, I recorded it, y'all. It's good. Okay, so I've got my first bow done. I'm so sorry, y'all, about the camera. I wasn't even looking. I was too busy talking about the maid. But, um, yes, you want to make sure you see my hand. Okay, before I even attach all these, I'm just going to tie them, okay? This is going to be the first bow to go up here at the top of the teardrop. So now let's make two more to go down here in the center and at the bottom. Y'all, I'm excited because this Thursday I have my first ever in my store uh, wreath class. And I'm doing a Christmas wreath class with seven people. It's going to be so fun. And I'm going to offer some more. So, you know, if you didn't get to come to this one, don't freak because I'm going to try to get some more on the calendar during the weeknights so that, you know, the moms can get away from their kids and their husband and can have a drink and, you know, let's make something fun for Christmas. Let me do something to get Young Sheldon. I don't watch Young Sheldon. I've never seen an episode of Big Bang Theory and I've never seen Young Sheldon. Y'all are never, can you not believe it? And that guy lives in my town. You know, he lives here in, in town. The guy from Young Sheldon, so I've never seen it. Have you like Big Bang Theory? Okay, I need to watch it, maybe. I like it. I started watching Friends, I told y'all, and I haven't had a, a minute. I mean, I'm telling you. It's like we woke up, and here it is Christmas time, so I've been busy, but um, it was really, I like Friends, so I'm going to go back and try and watch that off and on. I mean, it's not as good as Will and Grace, okay, because that's my fave, but it's still good. Okay. Guys, don't forget, on the website, ellisonmygarden.com, we sell Pro Bow of the Hand, and that's one of my favorite bow makers. And you can, you know, replicate and create the same bows that I'm doing on the Pro Bow. And it's $39.99, the best money you'll ever spend. It saves your hands, especially if you do installs or you have to tie multiple bows for projects instead of, like, you know, after a while, your hands get tired. But the, the Pro Bow does all the work for you, so you don't have to stress about that. Hey, Linda, good morning. Nina, all he has on the table are his things that he's preparing for the yep all that's on the table guys is the ribbon and the floral okay so you're not missing anything there and guys all the floral is 25 percent on the website ellishomeandgarden.com okay i'm on my last bow this one's going to go at the bottom and i'm going to do three loops on this one and again i'm using a one and a half inch kind of a red satin ribbon and then i've got some champagne too hey teresa says Jesse Ford is Georgie, her nephew. It's her nephew. Oh, really? That's cool. Who said that? Donna. Donna's sister? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She's my Scentsy lady. Oh, you need some Scentsy? Call her a Donna. Okay, she's my Scentsy girl. Donna, I, she knows too. Yeah, I didn't watch an episode. I got to though. Okay, so I've got this last one going. Okay, y'all, it's been a hot freaking minute. Let's do a QA. and a You want to? We've done not one in like a month. So here's how it works. Do whatever you want, okay? Leave a question, a comment, whatever. If you want to know something about me personally, 
ask it. Don't get crazy. If you want to know something about designing, leave a comment. If you want to know something about Dina, she'll tell you, honey, but she ain't going to see you. Okay, so y'all leave a comment and we'll answer those as we do our videos today. I think it's fun because we get to know each other more. And for real, I have no boundaries, so ask whatever you want. Okay, last bow to go on the teardrop. Now, honey, please, when you get ready to start, make sure you fluff this out because the last thing you need, honey, is for it not to be fluffed out, okay? Let's start with our first bow. Now, fluff it out before you put it up there. And then once you get your ribbon on there, don't stress about it, guys, because it's going to move around and shift as you add more material, but we can always go back and adjust that, so no reason to panic. We have our first bow. Go through the whole teardrop through the spine, okay, before you add it on there. There's the first one. Then we'll come back with our medium size, which is going to be in the center. I know you guys got some questions, so y'all leave them down. Okay, get this one here. Oh my God, I got to tell y'all something. Just hold the phone. Okay, there's the second bow. Then we'll put the third one down here at the bottom. Sandy, you don't want anything that I make. I've always said, y'all, because Dina and Morgan, my sister, they're basically, and Josh, they're always basically right there on the other side of the camera watching everything. So if anyone should be like a killer designer, it should be any three of them. So I always say we should do like a, a battle where we don't have to put our faces in there, but just the wreaths and just see what happens. I think it'd be fun. Donna, how long have you been doing this? Is that what you said? That's all I've got. How yes. long have you been doing I have been designing for this is my... Design. Little oh. design. Yeah, 12 years. 12 years. I started when I was 18, and now I am 29 and holding. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, almost 12 years. Are you going to do another class in Bozier? Probably not this year, guys. Unfortunately, with my store... And with my installs, I have a whole bunch of installs this year, and I'm so thankful and grateful. But that just kind of limits me on what I can do. And so I've got to stay local this year, um, so I won't be able to travel too much. But um, I am going to offer some classes in my store. So there are usually only like seven or eight spots available, so make sure you watch my Facebook page, Designs by Dylan. I've got to keep it small and intimate because I don't have that big of a spot, you know. But I want to have it just intimate and fun. So we can have some wine and act crazy. So uh, y'all watch my Facebook page for more updates on that, and that will be soon. Also, I'm so excited to announce, I forgot about this, I was nominated as a finalist for 40 Under 40. And so, um, I'm supposed to get headshots this week, so my hair guy better answer his phone because I was like, I have Tarzan. And so, anyway, if you guys want to vote for me, you definitely can, and I'd appreciate it. Go to my Facebook page, the link's on there, Designs by Dylan. And uh, what happens if I win, which I found this out yesterday, is um, I get to go to a gala in December, and it's black tie, so girl, I hope my dress fits. And... I get to bring two people, so it'll probably be Morgan and Josh, and I get to accept an award, give a speech, which God knows I love to talk in front of people, so I'll probably be up there all night, and uh, we get to, they put me in an East Texas magazine. I was like, okay, Miss Kardashian, so anyway, um, I can't wait. I hope, anyway, it'll be fun, but I'm just flattered and, and grateful to have been nominated at all. I had no idea even about it, so I got an email that says you're nominated, and I thought it was a joke, because you know how you get those spam emails, and I thought, oh, this is whatever. But no, it's a real thing. So thank you guys so much. And if you voted for me, I appreciate you. Okay. Once a day, every day. What are we doing, y'all? Yes, you can vote once a day, every day. Why do you put bows on first? So Joyce, that's a great question, guys. And you put your bows on first because you spend all that time making your bows and making them pretty. And if you put all your product on there, then you try and go back and shove a bow in there, it ain't going to look right. And it's going to upset you because you spent all that time on your bow. So put that on first, use that as a base, and then move that, work your way around that. Under it, over it, in it, all of that, honey. And then you can fluff your bows out and your ribbon tails as you go. Okay. Honey, we need to dive into this. Guys, we got a, a stem in that y'all have been asking for and I use all the time. Back when we did the Henry the Pumpkin last year, I had these, but things just came in because of the delays. It's this right here. And this is a, um, I don't know, a juniper spray, I think is what it's called. It's like cedar. And it's so pretty. A lot of you guys purchased this last year. We've had some messages asking where it was this year. Honey, she was on a boat. So she just got here. And uh, 
So we're going to cut this apart several times and incorporate this into our teardrop, okay? So I'm taking a whole stem. Again, floral is 25% off. That's the item of the week. Um, we're going to cut each one of these in half. And I'm just going to make a little pile here before we continue, okay? Me too, Jesse. I, I love it. So y'all made a great dinner last night. I've been on a cooking spree, okay? I made me a hamburger. First of all, last... No, not last night. What was last night? Monday? Sunday night, I made hamburgers. I grilled hamburgers. They were so good. I made myself one for lunch yesterday because I was home working on my dining room. And then last night, I made a Mississippi pot roast. Have you not had that yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Had that. And then I made mashed potatoes and green beans. And let me tell y'all something, okay? I love, my favorite type of green beans are the frozen whole green beans. And you stir fry them in a skillet and almost burn them. That's how I like them. But I love those green beans that are called, I call them cafeteria beans. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that are like flat and long. And you pour them out of the can and you burn those up in the pan too. And they're so good. So if you guys want a good recipe, try that. Vicki's asking if you're also adding an attachment, do you put it on first with the bows? That's a great question. So what an attachment is, guys, is like, you know, you can buy those like a scarecrow and they have like a head and legs or they have a snowman or Santa or a plaque or a sign. Yes, put that on first and then build your arrangement around it, add all your florals around it. Okay, I have all of my greenery put on here. Sandy Loomis wants to know our favorite meal. Hi, Sandy. My favorite meal, which my grandmother used to make for me, but my mom does it just as good, is chicken fried steak with mashed potatoes, green beans, and fried squash. So everything to clog your artery, basically, I love. But that's my favorite meal. But I can always do chicken fried chicken instead of chicken fried steak. But I love chicken fried steak and I love fried squash. Do you like fried squash? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And throw in some fried okra. Honey, put me on the IV. It's so good. I can't. I love it. Mine is turnip greens, oh, I love turnip. peas, cornbread, fried green tomatoes, and fried okra. So see, me and Dana will both be in ICU. But it is so good. And you know who has the best fried green tomatoes? It's uh, Cotton Patch. You've been there? And Heather's? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so good. Love them. And I love turnip greens too, but you have to find somewhere that cooks them great because they'll taste like dirt if you don't. Yeah. You can't buy them out of a can. So anyway, I love those. There's a brand Glory. Uh-huh. They're, they're pretty good. And you just season them up? Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm taking some ornaments now, and I'm going to attach these. If you are gluing your items, then you could totally just um, glue them in there. But I'm not because this is for demos. So what I'm doing is I'm just tying them in there, which you could do that too with the tie that's on here or a zip tie. Sandy says, you know you're with Josh. Is Dina married? No, I am not. I got rid of mine. Oh, honey, she is gone. Left him. But, hmm. Have you been on any dates before, Dina? Like, they were horrible. I need an example. Yes. Okay, give us a story. If I'm not single either, but I would love just for like a month to go on dates because I like to hear experiences. Okay, go ahead. Oh, God, it must have been real bad. It was really bad. Oh, that's all she's going to tell us, guys. It must have been real yeah, bad. Yeah, it was really bad. But I love stuff like that. I do regular cornbread. Can't do the sweet cornbread. Oh, I like Mexican cornbread. Do you like that? Yes. Okay, y'all. So I added three ornaments. I kind of zigzagged them, as you see. Let me zoom in so you can uh, see more. You know what I do with my cornbread sometimes? Teresa said, Danny, sometimes you have to do a trade-in. Exactly. So there's what it looks like up close, guys. So you can kind of see what we've done. Okay. So now that that's on there, that could be a stopping point. I always give starting and stopping points. That could be one. But honey, please, where else? Okay. Let's take our greenery. You're going to put this on first because it's green. And you're probably thinking, girl, why are we putting green on a green teardrop? Because it's a different texture and it'll break it up just a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Do you ever watch Saturday Night Live? Mm -mm. Okay, neither. Does anybody here watch Saturday Night Live? Let me tell you something. Kim Kardashian looked ridiculous, but other than her outfit, I thought the writers did a great job. I just watched her monologue because it came across Facebook, but her jokes were funny. Like one of them, Dina, was um, um, people think she's a gold digger, and she said, I'm not a gold digger, and I don't even know how you would do that. I guess I can ask my mom's boyfriend, Corey. And uh, there was a joke about Caitlyn. And it was funny. Like, I'm sure her whole family said, yes, do this. It'll be funny. So what were your thoughts if you watched Saturday Night Live? Deborah, who works here in the office, she's a huge fan. 
and I've never really even seen much of it. I've seen clips and stuff online, but that's about it. On Sunday morning, we have replay. I don't know because I don't watch it, so I don't know. Yeah, me either. Okay, I'm continuing to add. And I'm just going to do this, use the base, guys, as your um, outline. Go from there. Guys, don't forget, if you want to learn more about floral design on a more serious note, because I do get really serious and give major instruction, um, you can join my uh, monthly design group, guys. It's Dylan's Divas. It's 20 bucks a month. We do four videos a week, and we do so much more. Um, but for more information and how to sign up, guys, excuse me, go to DylanPalmerDesigns.com. And there's information there. And Dylan is spelled D-Y-L-E-N. On YouTube. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You watch the replays. Has anybody... Um, nobody talked about that last week. Never mind. When are you going to make a Christmas wreath? Next week. Y'all want to do a Christmas wreath next week? We've been rocking and rolling those out in Dylan Stevens, guys. Um, we're doing one this week that's two parts because it's so big. I'm doing like a huge, like almost 50-inch wreath in the group. Okay, look how pretty. So I added in a little bit of uh, the cedar. Misty Lane, thank you so much, girl. I appreciate you. So can you all tell what a difference that cedar made in there? I really think it has, and I love it. So this could be a stopping place too, but let's add a few more things, okay? Everybody wants to see a wreath. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sherry from Minnesota. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Um, I am in, we're in Longview, Texas. Are you already getting snow in Minnesota? If you are, leave a comment. That one just came up. You ever been to Utah before? World Four Corners. For where? Four Corners. What's that? Where Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, and Arizona come together. Y'all have to ask me that stuff because she's got to elaborate because you know I failed geography. Okay, well, I was watching Salt Lake City Housewives last night. And they were skiing, and it just looked so freaking pretty. I want to go there. Like, I probably can't ski. I'll sit at a bar. But I want to go and watch people. Okay. You can sit, like, on the corner and put my foot in two states and put your hands in two states. You're in all four states. So I wonder if you're in Salt Lake City, how far of a drive it is to Vegas. Not far, right? Shouldn't be. That is cool. And I think from Los Angeles, it's only like four hours, right? People go from they fly, they drive Vegas there. to L.A. or vice versa. Sherry says no snow yet. Okay, guys, look how pretty this is. I use this in my house, and I put, I'm put, I've been putting uh, sneak peeks on my Facebook page, but this is one of my favorite picks, champagne. You've got magnolia leaves, you've got berries, and you've got big berries, or those are pomegranates. So three different things in one. And I'm just going to take a couple of these and cut them in half so you have four stems total. Antoinette woke up the snow. Lori, um, you can watch all the replays on the Facebook page. Who did? Antoinette. Well... I can't believe it. But, you know, they're saying here, and, you know, didn't I watch that weather? And I've gotten to where I'm obsessed with the news. Ugh. They put this news thing on the bottom of Facebook on your phone. Have you noticed that? And I just constantly read about the news, and I'm terrified. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, they're saying that we should have a bad weather here, and I mean a bad winter here in Longview, or in Texas, period. I smile with bad we uh, winter. I love cold weather. But don't, you know, freeze my water up, and do not snow. I can't do the snow anymore. Where were you? Were you stuck at your mom's last year or you were at your own house? I was at my own house during Snowmageddon. And no heat? I have. Oh, you had electricity? Yeah. Okay, good. <sighs> have you had any animals come up lately? Like raccoons or something? Nope. Oh, and I was going to tell y'all. Now, I don't know this as a done deal yet, but I had a client that I did earlier. Hey, Brita. I had a client that I did uh, last Sunday, and she said she breeds dogs. And she does standard poodle. I did her last year. I told you about her. She does standard poodles, golden doodles, golden retrievers, Yorkies, and one other kind of dog I can't think about. But they had one little boy left, a Yorkie. Morgan has a Yorkie, you know, Roxy, Roxanne. It's not what I call her. But anyway, she needs a boyfriend, okay? And so Morgan fell in love with this dog, and I was like, oh, Jesus. Well, my mom was like, you should get her and, or get him. So I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I need your help. If you were going to name a boy, small Yorkie, like four pounds, that goes with Roxanne, I want it to be an R name, what would you name it? 
Uh, we have looked at everything. My favorite was Richard, because <laughs> I could just imagine screaming Richard across the yard. But um, I was telling her all kinds of names, like Ricardo, like Ricky, like, I don't know. So an R name that you think would be cute with Roxy, leave a comment. I need your input, and I'll give Morgan, I'll relay this to her later. That looks pretty to get to six hours. That's not bad at all, six hours. So if you move to either one of those places, you get the best of both cities. It was snowing north of Salt Lake City last night. Wow. Dina, I've got, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something, Dina. She's going to black out. She shouldn't be surprised at anything that I say. It's taken me 29 years to figure out that San Francisco is in California. Okay? I thought San Francisco was its own state. Okay? <laughs> like, I was talking to somebody. And I was like, I would love to go to San Francisco. Well, it was Sharita that worked at the front. And she was saying she was her sister lives in California. And she was going to go to Los Angeles and, and, and San Francisco. I'm like, girl, you get all these planes and stuff? And she was like, no, Dylan, San Francisco is in California. I had no idea. Oh. God, I'm so glad I'm out of school right now because it's homeschooling that people are doing. I would just fail. I would just be gone. Well, here's a bunch of names. Reggie. Oh. Rex. Rodney. Raleigh. Remington. The Rocky, cashier at the front is saying Remington. Robbie. Roxy and Roe. Oh, that's cute. R-O-W-E. Rudy. Raleigh. Rumble. Those are good. I think I like Roe the most. What's your? Or I like Richard. What's your favorites? I like Remington. Remington. That's so. What we call him, Dina? Remy. Yeah. What's that? Remington's a long name. Have you met Remington up here? Mm -mm. Oh, so sweet. There's a cashier guy that I just met. His name is Remington. Okay, look at that. I got the Rip. champagne. Rip. Oh my God, from Yellowstone. Okay, I got all the champagne in there. Again, this could be a stopping place, but we're going to add a little bit touch more red before we continue. I'm obsessed, okay? So, my favorite stem is, you better run, honey, and do not walk, okay? Honey locust spray. It's going to fly out of here because I'm going to buy it all. So, make sure you get on the website, ellisonmangarden.com. Floral is 25% off right now. If I had to pick one stem to always use through the holidays on your trees, garlands, wreaths, multiple purposes, this is it. Honey locust spray. Comes in all different colors. Allison had no heat, frozen pots, 20,000 in damage. Dang, girl, where the Dallas. heck did you live? Oh, yeah, my aunt was in Dallas. She lived in an apartment while they were building her house, and she didn't have power for a week. And she had to go to leave and go to her um, mother in law's because she was froze. And let me tell you something that's funny. My uncle is, they're both. It's, they are so hot natured that it's freezing. Like one time, I remember we went over there for Christmas, and it was so freaking cold in their house that I went and started up a fire and I was sitting by the fire and he was like why are you having a fire it was like 20 degrees outside I'm like because it's freezing in here and y'all have the windows and doors open so anyway but during that slow storm he was so cold he had to go to his mother's so I made sure I made him a little message and I was like mm-hmm Wyoming had snow last night oh my gosh that just seems so pretty but I don't want any river oh that's cute Dina, you know what song I love? Dina's like a musical person like me. Uh, she can actually sing. I can't, but I think yeah. I can in my nose. I love that song, Yesterday from the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Anyone who sings it. Do you like Brittany Carlisle, by the way? Oh, she's very good. Okay, y'all. I'm cutting up this Honey Locust spray. I'm incorporating this into the teardrop. Oh, Marsha, that sounds so cute. I can't wait to tell Morgan all this stuff. And then she's going to find out she ain't getting no dog. But, um, you know, <laughs> I still think they're fun. Got honey locust spray messy with the glitter? No, look, not much is coming off at all. It's pretty much, I guess they put a sealer on here or something where it stays on there. But you're pretty good. Cairo, is that how you say that? Cyrano. Cyrano. Oh, honey, no, I'd call it cereal. Mm -mm, I get it wrong. That is cute, though. Okay, y'all, I'm adding a few of these red honey locust sprays. Remember, this is on the website, and floral is 25% uh, off this week as the item of the week. Okay, so y'all asked us what our favorite meals were. So it's your turn, girl. Now make us hungry, because it's almost lunchtime in my opinion. I'm ready to eat. So leave a comment and let us know if you had to just pick one meal on your deathbed. Okay, you're falling off a cliff. 
what would you pick as your last meal? Mine would be what I told you, or if that wasn't an option, uh, always pizza. What's your two? You already told us one, so if you had to pick one more. Two cans of breadstick, green beans, mashed potatoes. Yeah, shoot, we're the same person. Oh my god, racer, that's cute. Rowdy. I like river the most. Or row. Okay, Sandy, she ain't playing, <laughs> honey. <laughs> you better get her a, a napkin. Okay, that sounds great. I love turkey and dressing. Guys, um, also, if you were asking about classes and stuff, if you ever go to, like, wreath events with other um, designers and crafters and friends, I'm going to one. I'm a presenter at one called Texas Designers Roundup. It's so fun. And I go, this is my third year. It's the final year. It's in San Marcos this year. But if you are a designer and you like to get out and have fun and, and learn new things and meet new people and friends, and girl, TexasDesignersRoundup.com. Check it out. I'm going to be there. I would love to see you guys there. It's so fun. Ramon. Ramon. Oh, my God. That is so cute. I like Rebel. that, too. Rebel. No, that's Roxy's name because she's a little, you know what? <laughs> and if that dog. Yo, I've got Stella, and she can run like a horse. Roxy can outrun her. If she gets out the door, forget it. Okay? Forget it. Ooh, bristlet and cracklins. What's cracklins? Is that what that says? Okay, cracklins. What is that? Phyllis, elaborate, please. What is that? And you know what one of my favorite things to eat is? And Josh hates them. I love a good hot dog. Okay? Like, I could eat them with just plain. I could eat it with mustard. I love chili and 45 onions. I like all of it. You like hot dogs? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The movie theater? Mm. Sandy wants to do a live stream at PDR. Yes, honey, please. I will do one, y'all. Okay, look. I was going to tell y'all something. Hold the phone. Mm, you watch Grey's Anatomy? Mm -mm. Me either. They're slept with everybody. What's left? But did you guys see that Addison Montgomery's back? The one that Kate Walsh, she was on there? And she rekindled their relationship. And mm, I quit watching after Derek died. And my favorite was actually the rude one, which was, um, what's her name? Catherine Heigl, love her. And they're all saying she's so hard to work with. I'd probably love her. I don't know why I always flock to the ones that are crazy, but she is great. And I love that new show, Firefly Lane. Have you seen that? You watched it, right? I watched. They, it's come out a second one? No, they're filming it. Oh. But you know, Lock and Key's about to come out. In like next week. Hmm. Season two. Okay, y'all. Enough about me. Let's, uh, okay, Cracklins is fried pigs. That's, what, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Like those things you buy at the store? Those pork skins? Is that the same thing? Did you eat that, Dina? Mm -hmm. mm. Let me tell y'all something. Can we talk? Here's the things I've never tried and I can't. I don't do seafood. Okay. I have tried a piece of fish before. It was pretty good at lunch on Silver's. But that's about it. I love hush puppies. I do not eat any seafood whatsoever. Ooh, people eat those shrimp. Oh, my God. That's like, mm. I cannot. And um, I do not like uh, crab legs. Uh -uh, I don't like lobster. Anything that's got claws on it, I can't do. Um, might as well give me a dog claw. And then um, what's the other thing people eat, Dina? Oh, crap. Those bug-looking things. Crawfish. Oh, Jesus. Do you eat those? Mm -mm. Gross. And other than that, give me any type of red meat. Love it. I love pork chops. I like chicken. Um, I love bacon. I like sausage. I love barbecue. But don't give me no seafood. I just can't. Anybody with me out there? Anybody who don't like seafood? Okay, y'all. Let me zoom in here. Look how pretty this turned out. And remember, this is a 32-inch teardrop. It's like 40 inches now because we left the ribbon tails longer and it's so good. Okay, everybody's talking about these cracklings, honey. I'm about to snap, crackle, and pop myself. I'm going to ask Josh about that because he seems like he would like that. Mm -mm. Chicken gizzard. Mm. Mm -mm. I need no liver, onion, nothing. Forget it. Oh, God, no, Allison. Hey, Deborah, how are you? I just think about what the liver does, and I can't eat, mm -mm, can't eat it. Yeah, I can't think of it either. Ever since I watched CSI, and I, they pull one out of somebody, I can't. All right, guys. So remember, all of these items are available at ellishomegarden.com, I hope, and uh, much more. Okay, floral is 25% off. It's the item of the week. 
And guys, don't forget, you can find me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N. The 40 under 40 thing I talked to you guys about is on there. You can vote every day, once a day until October 16th, maybe. Um, but anyway. It's this week. Yeah, I think it ends this week. So anyway, I hope you guys have, I could not, Tammy, I could not. First of all, the heat. Mm, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm so stupid. And uh, I enjoyed this uh, morning today. I like to hang out with you guys, get to know you, find out what your people are eating. <laughs> and don't be calling me to the house unless you have what me and Dita told you we wanted, okay? But um, you have a fantastic rest of your day and a great week. And I will see you soon, guys, on Designs by Dylan. If you're interested in my group, go to DylanPalmerDesigns.com and EllisHomeGarden.com. Everything and more, floral, 25% off, item of the week. Love y'all for watching. Have a blessed week. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Me and Dina will be here at 9 at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all. Bye.